My name is Terry Clark. I'm a dietitian at Mercy Medical Center. Today we are going to make one of the easiest recipes I think I've ever made before. Um, it is a Mexican, Mexican chili and it does require a lot of cans of um, different ingredients, some ground beef, and a couple of packets of uh, flavorings. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, this is a very healthy recipe. What I've done is I've already started with the meat and I've got that already prepared and cooked. Um, I'm going to add my taco seasoning. Now this is a low sodium seasoning and I purchased a lot of low sodium items because as you know, canned food can be very high in sodium. So this potentially could be an extremely high sodium dish. But with the low sodium and with rinsing a lot of our um, product, it will be a much better um, sodium level that will make it to be a healthy dish. So I went ahead and I put my um, taco seasoning in with the meat. And I'm going to add one cup of water to this. That was a half a cup. And another half a cup. And just kind of let that work in. I am using a uh, lower fat meat. This is a 93% beef. You could also decrease the fat even more by um, using ground turkey or chicken. And so we're going to go ahead and just let that sit for a little bit while we go ahead and get the rest of the ingredients um, put together. So what I'm doing is I'm putting them in a um, sifter or what is it? a sieve so that um, I can rinse all my vegetables. That's one can of corn. I did go ahead and open these up before um, starting this program because as you can tell there are a lot of cans and it, I think the most time it takes to make this um, chili is opening all the cans. It really is simple and it's very yummy too. Uh, I have a 10 year old and she loves it. My husband loved it. I love it. Um, I have a class, um, a nutrition class and they all loved it. So I'm only going to put in the beans and the corn and I'm going to rinse these. I'm not putting in my tomatoes as of yet. It does call for a few cans of diced tomatoes. So I'm going to take this on over to the sink and just rinse it. Alright, so I'm just rinsing these out. Getting a lot of the, getting rid of a lot of the salt, a lot of the sodium here. So that's pretty well rinsed and there's two ways that you can do this. You can either put it in a large pan like this or you could put it in a crock pot. Um, the recipe calls for the crock pot to be um, one to two hours. So you really don't want to leave it in there for eight hours. Oh, you probably could. I don't know if everything would get a little mushy or not, but usually chilies tend to kind of sit for a while, sit all day. So now I'm putting in my diced tomatoes and these are lower sodium. I did purchase lower sodium tomatoes so that this would not be a high salt product. And if you have any kind of heart disease or if you have congestive heart failure or hypertension or if you retain fluid, then you want to make sure that you are using a lower sodium product. So there's all my low sodium, sodium free tomatoes. And I'm going to add the ranch dressing. This really gives it a nice flavor. And then I will add the beef. See how simple this is? Just throw it all together. You could come home from work, throw this all in the pan or the crock pot, turn it on, and two hours later you have dinner. And really all it took you is maybe 15 minutes of preparation. 
So I am going to put this on the stove and I'm just going to let it sit for about an hour and let all those flavors blend and just get it nice and heated through and this would be a nice supper on a cold winter day. Put a lid on it and then just let it sit for a couple hours and dinner will be ready for your family. All right, so now we've completed our, our Mexican chili. We've um, let it heat up for a couple hours, just let it simmer, let all those flavors really get congealed so that you've got such a nice, thick Mexican chili and wonderful flavors. Some nice toppings for our Mexican chili would be just a little bit of shredded cheese and some little tortilla strips. The good thing about tortilla strips nowadays is you can already buy them cooked and cut into little strips. So enjoy your Mexican chili and have a happy new year. Thank you.